Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Prepping by Faith and today I wanted to talk to you about staying humble and kind. That is not always an easy one to do, especially when we feel attacked or misunderstood, but it is the way we are supposed to behave if we want to stay in right standing with God. I was reading in the book of James and these scriptures spoke to me in a very meaningful way. It's always such a blessing when God leads you to something that ministers to you. I found that you can read a scripture one time and it will have a different impact on you and then that same scripture may minister to you in a completely different way later on. But that is why the word of God is alive because it has the ability to reach us exactly when and where we need it to. In James 3, 13 through 18, it says, Who is wise and understanding among you? Let them show it by their good life, by deeds done and the humility that comes from wisdom. But if you harbor bitter envy and selfish ambition in your hearts, do not boast about it or deny the truth. Such wisdom does not come down from heaven, but is earthly, unspiritual, demonic. For where you have envy and selfish ambition, there you find disorder and every evil practice. But the wisdom that comes from heaven is first of all pure, then peace-loving, considerate, submissive, full of mercy and good fruit, impartial and sincere, peacemakers who sow in peace reap a harvest of righteousness." This is so powerful. We always want to be seeking heavenly wisdom because if we are self-motivated and all we care about is doing better than someone else or hitting those earthly goals we have for ourselves, that is not promoting the kingdom of heaven and it is not the example of Christ we should be portraying. The scripture here tells us we need to have humility in order to have true wisdom. Do we just want to be right or do we feel like the message we are trying to share is really important and will help others? I have to really analyze that one on a daily basis. There is such a fine line there. One of the most important things we need to remember is that even if we do take the time to determine the message we want to share is to help others, to say it in a loving way. We should always speak the truth in love. That's why it's so important, as James explains in verse 17, that true wisdom is pure and peace-loving and considerate. It isn't shared in a way to beat someone over the head. It's shared in a way to reveal something to them that enlightens them and causes them to have a deeper level of understanding. If you're coming at people out of anger or hurt, they aren't going to listen to anything you have to say. Further on in James 4 verses 1 through 10, we read, Where do wars and fights come from among you? Do they not come from your desires for pleasure that war in your members? You lust and do not have. You murder and covet and cannot obtain. You fight in war. Yet you do not have because you do not ask. You ask and do not receive because you ask amiss that you may spend it on your own own pleasures, adulterers and adulteresses. Do you not know that friendship with the world is enmity with God? Whoever therefore wants to be a friend of the world makes himself an enemy of God. Or do you think that the scripture says in vain, the spirit who dwells in us yearns jealousy? but he gives more grace. Therefore, he says, God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Therefore, submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Lament and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned into mourning and your joy to gloom. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he will lift you up. We're not supposed to lift ourselves up. That's God's job. If we stay humble and kind and learn to speak the truth in love, he will elevate us in his timing. It says that wars and fighting come from loving ourselves, from putting ourselves first and thinking of earthly pleasures. We seek to earn more earthly possessions and then greed causes us to want things others have and it causes us to be proud and arrogant. The scripture says, God resists the proud but gives grace to the humble. I know I don't want God resisting me. There can be no blessing if God is resisting you because of pride. It's so easy to get off in the weeds and be prideful. Sometimes I don't even think we are aware of it. The scripture is all about balance. I believe that if we are putting God first and we are loving others more than ourselves, then everything else is going to fall into place. God will bless us for following these commandments. I believe he wants to prosper all of us, but we have to be in a place to receive it. If we are only thinking of ourselves and if we only want more so that we can consume it upon our own lust, how does that benefit the kingdom of heaven in any way? God's got to deal with that in all of us before we can receive the blessing. 
It's okay to be passionate about something because you believe in it fiercely and you want others to understand how important it is, but you have to be compassionate at the same time. You have to share it in a loving way and you have to understand why you feel so strongly in the first place. Are you motivated out of a desire for your own gain, whether that is monetarily or for a higher position of respect, or are you motivated out of the desire to help others? As I said before, everything I share with you is something I am being shown in my own life. God chastises those whom he loves. He brings correction so that we aren't condemned with the rest of the world. He opens our eyes of understanding so that we can make those adjustments and grow in the grace and knowledge of who he is to become stronger Christians and doers of the word rather than hearers only. Humble yourself before God and he will lift you up. If this message has blessed you today, please like, share, and subscribe. And remember to pray, prep, and put God first. God bless.